What's up? This is Dan Giffen. I'm going to give you a tip and a trick today on how to reduce the size of an Ableton Live project, uh, specifically if you're getting it from somebody else and the project's huge or you have a big project you want to send to somebody else that you've been working on. I get a lot of projects from people wanting help on their Ableton Live projects. Uh, I'd be glad to help you if you go to liveproducersonline.com and you join the pro membership plan. You can send me your music and your Ableton projects and I can tell them how bad they suck and I can help you with whatever you need help with. But most recently, somebody sent me a project file that was five and a half gigs. It was huge. And I wanted to send it back to him and I didn't want to spend 12 hours uploading it to Dropbox and take up all this space on my computer hard drive. If you freeze tracks in Ableton Live and you have a ton of audio, that's going to eat up a lot of space with your projects. So what I'm going to do to send it back to him and reduce the file size so that everything is still there, but it's going to reduce the file size. If I open this up, Ableton's got backups, which doesn't take up much space, but the samples is really where that space is going to be eaten up. He's got a lot of imported samples of drum racks and stuff that's not even being used. All these tracks that are frozen, that takes up a ton of space. And then uh, some recorded audio taking up a ton of space as well. So what I'd like to do is not all those samples are being used. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save a copy of this project and send it back to him. It's going to have everything in there that's actually being used, um, but it's there's a lot of stuff in here that's not in there. I'm going to go to save a copy right here when saving a project. And what this is going to do, it's going to create a brand new Ableton project folder. So let's change this to copy, hit save to the desktop. It saved it. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to go to that new copy of a project and here it is. So here's the original, here's the new one. And then what I need to do is I need to go in to this new project and none of the audio samples are there. So if I just sent him this new copied project, then it's going to be missing a lot of files and things that are important that he's definitely going to want to hear. And I'm going to choose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everything selected. Yes. So that I'm not missing anything when I send him audio back that way, when he opens his Ableton project, there's no missing audio or anything like that. So make sure all these are yes. And then hit okay. And now when we look inside the project, we can see that those samples are included in there. Only the ones that we really need from this new project. If we compare these two projects now, if I look at the Git info, the original project that we had was 5.3 gigs, freaking huge. And the new project that we just clicked on saved and has all that stuff in it. If I checked Git info, it's only 1.5 gigabytes. So that cut it like significantly makes a huge difference. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and uh, I would love to help you on your projects. If you need help with like mixing or composition or whatever, technical support, I'd be glad to help you out. Join as a pro member on liveproducersonline.com, and hopefully I will see you on the other side. Have an awesome day. Go make some dope music. Fuck it,